Does the panel agree that the CAS review provides a serious wake-up call to all political parties and the NHS about how ideological capture can happen if whistleblowers are ignored and debate is chilled through name-calling? Does the panel welcome the findings and agree healthcare should be evidence-based and not ideologically driven? Um, well, this, of course, refers to the Hillary Cass review, which was published today, <coughs> all about uh, particularly child-related transgender issues, the use of puberty blockers, etc., etc. We talked about it in the last hour on the programme. Um, Oli Grandy, your, your party has got a very clear policy on trans issues, which has not been uncontroversial within the Liberal Democrats. Um, what, what's, what's the Liberal Democrat reaction to the Cass review? Because West Streeting for Labour has welcomed it, the government's welcomed it. What about you? Yeah, uh, it's 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 broadly good. I mean, there are a lot of recommendations in there, so um, it's going to take a while to work through and understand. Um, I think the the really important pieces that I've picked out is is the need for the talking therapies and talking therapies quickly, and how I think it's put at around five thousand children are currently uh, on a waiting list for this, and that seems really significant. And it's almost like, you know, kind of that whole approach, which is included in the CAS report about a holistic approach to a child is exactly the right thing to a child, to the child's family, but also, you know, allowing medical expertise. Um, And so in that sense, that is all broadly welcome. 